Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new combat update that might be coming to Minecraft 1.9. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about things that are coming, and today I'm just going to talk about things that have been released, things that have been leaked, and also my opinion on some things. So, according to the Minecraft Wikipedia page, what will be coming, this is under planned editions, we're going to have a dark coloured block, which I'll get to in a minute, there's a new block type. There'll be easier ways for mod plugin makers to do mod stuff like that. But we don't really want to know about the mod stuff, we want to know about the combat stuff, because that makes Minecraft so much cooler. Uh, so apparently there's going to be a new animation. Uh, there's going to be something called Pressed Dirt. Now, Pressed Dirt was something I saw on the Reddit, um, I'm not sure, about a month ago. And I think it was someone literally just posting it, like something they'd made, like a new block type. And I think um, the guys who uh, make Minecraft saw this and obviously thought, well, you know, this is something quite cool. So that's possibly going to be coming to Minecraft. Um, there's also apparently going to be, you know, new command block stuff. Apparently new clouds as well, and also new shaders, because obviously Minecraft came with those... It's quite weird, they kind of they updated the game to have their own version of shaders and some of them are really weird. You've got like security camera, black and white, you've got this some weird blobby one, but apparently there's going to be new shaders coming out as well. New bosses as well, which would be amazing, and also they're going to edit the Ender Dragon fight, which I think is very good because the Ender Dragon fight is pretty easy. I mean, all you got to do is take out the towers, sit in the middle of the end, and then just fire arrows at it until it dies. It's pretty simple. So obviously, if it's a combat update, they want to make people focus more on combat so obviously the ender dragon fight might be get a bit harder and possibly this is just my opinion they could like, change the difficulty of the actual fight with the, the difficulty buttons so on hard for example he could actually fire I don't know, fireballs at you on easy all he does is just push you about like he does in the current one now this new block that was added I have absolutely no idea what it could be it's a weird dark black kind of block with like red and a slightly yellow tint on it now from the screenshots we've seen we've seen one screenshot of it kind of in, in like a glass cage and it almost looks like a beacon and then we've got another screenshot with it kind of in like a log circle with armor stand sitting around it so it's there's not really been any proper um evidence to say what it is uh, but people, a lot of people on the Reddit are saying that it's a kind of a, do something like a beacon effect, like reversed, reverse um, I don't know, effects on the player rather than add effects. Um, so that's bus possibly quite good. But remember, it's combat, so it's got to be something to link with combat. Maybe it could be some kind of it could be some kind of weapon upgrader. Maybe you right click on it, put a weapon in, and it'll upgrade it for you. And now that links quite nicely onto um, what I'm thinking about for personal updates that I'd like to see. One of the main ones I'd like to see is an enchantment for a bow which fires three arrows at once or like up to three. Um, now you might think that's quite OP but obviously there would be some kind of downgrades to the weapon as well. So what I'm thinking is at the moment when you fire one arrow it practically follows the crosshair and lands on your target depending on you know the height um, or the vertical axis. But if you could fire three say uh, it could be called multi arrow, two, multi, multi arrow two you could fire two arrows but they're not exactly in the same place they would spread and then three, they'd spread even more over a, uh, like a wide area. So the nearer you are, obviously the loads, loads of damage you can do. If you're going to fire it at someone one block away, all three hours are gonna, three hours are going to hit. But if you're firing it from like 50 blocks away, then you've got mm, practically no chance unless you're really lucky. Um, I'd also like to see um, enchantments on armor that actually has an effect on the player, like speed. Uh, you already have like, you know, thorns. Which is alright, it kind of damages the other player. But maybe speed, maybe more hearts, maybe some kind of armor that gives you something ability to your sword, which would be pretty good. When you wear a certain chest piece, it makes your sword better. Uh, maybe dual wielding, that'd be quite nice to see actually, because uh, I know a lot of mod packs do that already. Dual wielding would be pretty cool. Or the ability to combine weapons with tools. And I know a lot of people already use um, axes as weapons because you can put sharpness on it. But it'd be nice to be able to combine your axe with a sword to make some kind of... I'm not sure what the actual technical name is. I think it's like a medieval weapon or something like that. But some kind of, like, mega tool, um, which you could use for battling and would be as effective as a sword, but then you could also use as a tool. Uh, this possibly wouldn't work well with a pickaxe, because, I mean, in real life, a pickaxe is a pretty good weapon, but in Minecraft, I just don't think it would fit very well. But, yeah, that's my little opinion and uh, discussion on the new combat update if you've got anything you want to say 
put it in the comments. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and comment and subscribe if you want more content. And I will see you in my next video.